Hello everyone, I'm back again to inspire and motivate from the word of God, the gospel. I was sharing last time from the book of Galatians and I sure some of you from our international fellowship follow my video and have your Bible study. And I want to ask you, what your inspiration from your Bible study in this month from the book of Galatia? I'm 100% sure some of you will come up with a lot of testimony. And for the past two weeks, I can hear from our international fellowship sharing from the book of Galatia. And also I want to share my specific inspiration while I was reading and study from the book of Galatia. And I sure many of you have the same inspiration from different specific chapter verses. You know what my inspiration today from the book of Galatia is Galatians chapter five. And when I read this chapter 5, start reading from verse 1 and come back to the verse 16. Something really inspired me. And this is what I want to encourage you. Walking in the Spirit. How you walk in the Spirit? Many of you know and you can answer me. And when I read this scripture, it's inspire, motivate to seek the Lord and lift me up to move to the next table to walk in the Spirit. And I'm encouraging you, everybody in this season. Come on, let us encourage each other and try to walk in the Spirit. Often we talk about Holy Spirit. We say, yeah, I believe in the Holy Spirit. I live in spirit. But sometimes we forgot to walk in the spirit. And what the word of God encouraging in this day is that. In verse 16, if you read, I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the laws of the flesh. Walk in the Spirit, so you should not fulfill the laws of the Spirit. For the Spirit lost against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh, and these are contradictory to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, adultery, sorcery, hatred, conditions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murdered, drunkenness, revelries, and the like of which I tell you beforehand. Just as I also told you in time past that those who participate such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. This is what Galatians chapter 5 from verse 16 to 21 talking to us. 
if you walk in the spirit, what the word of God said, don't commit adultery. Don't be jealous. Don't be angry. Don't be murder. Don't be envy. Don't be drunkenness. Don't do all the sinful things. Don't turn to the darkness world, but turn back to the light of Jesus Christ. Don't do the criminal, don't do the bad things, but try to do the good things. This is what it's talking about. But here today, I just want to encourage you to live in spirit, to live a holy life, and then to walk in the spirit. The word of God said, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified in the flesh with its passion and desire. And here it's talking about to walk in the spirit, to live in the spirit. But especially I just want to encourage you, walking in the spirit, we need to love God from our heart, from our mind, from our spirit. We need to say goodbye to the dark world sinful natures but we need to see yes and amen to Jesus to the gospel to the kingdom sometimes people say there is no way to say no to the kingdom of God in the kingdom of God there is always a way to say yes amen and that's how the Lord will bless so here, in Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 to 26, is something unique, inspire my life, encourage my life. And I want to encourage you that read this scripture and reflect in your life. Are you living in spirit? If you're not living in spirit, it's time for you surrender your life, confess your sin, see goodbye to the world and see yes to the kingdom of God. And also have the fruit of the spirit. As I re read now, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22, 23, the fruit of the spirit. The nine fruit of the spirit we need to build in our life. And that nine fruit of the Spirit, we need to walk every day our Christian life so that we will win the challenge, the battle. What is the fruit, nine fruit of the Spirit? I will share in next video in a deeper way. But that is what we need right now. But here today, in this short video, I want to encourage you. If you live in spirit, come on, let us also walk in the spirit. And that was what I like, verse 25. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. How can you walk in the spirit? Say no to the world. Goodbye to the darkness world. Say goodbye to your bad habits. Say goodbye to the devil. Say goodbye adultery, jealousy, 
uncleanness, hatred, a lot of things, what I read, selfishness. And then allow the fruit of the Spirit in our life so that we can walk in Spirit every day so that we are not a loser, but we are a winner. And to win, when we say, yes, amen to Jesus, to the kingdom of God, and work to have the nine fruit of the Spirit, you will automatically update and you will be a blessed person. So I want to encourage you in your Bible study, turn Galatians chapter 5 and read and then go back to the verse 16 to verse 26. And the Lord will take over. May God bless you. And next video, I want to share more deeper the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. The fruits of the Spirit. Father, I thank you for this season. Thank you for your inspiration. Lord, help us to live in spirit. But also help us to walk in spirit every day. So that we see the fruits of the fruits in our life and so that we can experience your blessing in a powerful way so that we can overcome every challenge every darkness in our life jesus help us to live in spirit to walk in spirit we commit our life to you unto your hand in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we pray amen Thank you and bless you and see you in the next video. And there I will share the nine fruits of the Spirit. Amen.